Hey guys, today is uh, September 12th and uh, I just want to do a quick video. Uh, D-Rock is having uh, his second surgery coming up and had a question so I'm going to answer the question. Uh, he asked me what my preference was or what the difference was between the rod and pump. So real quick, I'm going to just do a little bit of history here for those who are watching me for the first time. Uh, in 2015, I had my phalloplasty with Dr. Curtis Crane and Dr. Chen in San Francisco. And then in 2016, I had the erection device uh, surgery and I chose rod. The reason why I chose the rod at the time was Dr. Curtis was really, Dr. Curtis, Dr. Crane was really behind the rod. Uh, it seemed like it lasted longer and he didn't have as many issues. Uh, so I chose the rod. The first thing I noticed coming out of surgery is how huge I was. <laughs> I mean, total erection. And it was uh, an endorphin rush. Let's put it that way. Uh, the rod was good. I I like the fact that you don't have to worry about pumping yourself up if you've got that heat of the moment passion going on. Uh, the downfall of the rod was, or well, let me go back to the rod. Uh, so the rod, the rod had, um, so the rod had places where you could bend it so it was separated and you could bend it so you could bend it upward of course it would look like this or you could bend it down and I always wore mine down the base of the rod which is this hand was anchored to your pelvic bone it had four anchors or threads that were like fishing wire and it was anchored to your bone so it would move, but it was, um, you, you could feel the strength, the anchor in it. So that went pretty well for a while. Uh, but I noticed, excuse me, I knew I was going to start yawning. I noticed that, uh, after, I, I don't remember the timeline, so I'm just kind of giving you a summary. It had to have been at least a year or two, I, I think, I, if I remember right. Uh, I noticed that when I would bring them up, that I would feel this on my pelvic bone. I could feel him moving, the, the rod moving on my pelvic bone. And then I was able to do this with him which meant okay something's loose in there because before I, I wouldn't have been able to do this I could do this I could do this and I could do this but I really couldn't do this and couldn't you, you just couldn't do that kind of stuff it was it was pretty um stern there so it got looser and looser and then I could feel it just rubbing against my pelvic bone so I went to do see Dr. Chen in San Francisco. He goes, oh, he goes, Ethan, you got to, we got to replace the rod. It's failed. I said, okay. So we went in and we replaced the rod and um, that did good. He said he really anchored it really good. He saw where uh, it had come loose and stuff. And, um, and then when I moved out here onto the two and a half acres, uh, I did a video where um, I had gotten down on my stomach and felt a sharp pain in my pelvic, my groin area. And then it just kept getting worse. After that, it, I kept feeling pain at different things. Uh, it wasn't like that, but there was something going on. The pros to the rod was always ready. Uh, there was no worry about getting yourself pumped up or 
getting worried about that, you know, having that thought process when you were in the the, the passion moment. Passion moment. Oh, excuse me. Um, so the second, uh, and that was the good thing about it. The second thing was you didn't have any extra hardware in you, plastic, silicone, whatever. So you had your two testicles and the rod. Uh, for me, though, the downfall, and I was, I dealt with it, granted. I mean, I if it hadn't failed, I'd still have it. Uh, but the downfall was, is that when you did get bumped up against, you were hard. And, it, but it wasn't hard where your skin, like, you're hard here, but see how your skin goes in? No, this was, this was pretty hard when you hit that, that rod. I'm trying to find my bone. Okay, when you hit that rod, see it doesn't go in. That's how it was. And I always worried about my great nieces jumping on my lap and bumping up against me because they were they're at that age, were at that age. But that was the psychological part of it. Sometimes I wondered if I showed too much, but my wife was always assure, reassuring me, you don't show any more than any other guy. And I said, okay. And, and I think that's natural for us guys. Uh, we're conscientious, a lot of us. Some of us like to show off, and that's how you are. That's how you are. Uh, I am a little bit more... I'm so sorry, people. I'm a little bit more modest. A lot modest. I'm pretty modest. So, anyway. Uh, so, now we come up to November of 2020, I think it was. 2021, because it's a year, 2020, so it'll be two years this November. So 2020, uh, after I did something to it, whatever I did, I don't remember, uh, the doctor said, yeah, it's it's failed. Um, and so I asked her just for the pump. I thought, you know, I've had two rods, both of them failed, and it's because of me. It wasn't because of the rods, it was my body. And... I said in one of the videos, I thought it was my weight. It probably could have been uh, the way I hold myself, my my the way I carry weight. And um, so I got the pump. Now for the last year and a half, I can tell you that I honestly like the pump better. I feel emotionally better. I'm not worried about if they bump up against me, it feels like a penis. Uh, I, you know, um, our penises don't shrink up, so we're, our length is our length. But I can tell you the difference I have found uh, that emotionally or mentally arouses me even more is that when you're in that heated moment and you're or maybe you're not even a heat at moment, but you're doing your exercise because you have to pump it. Uh, as you're pumping it, you actually get to see and feel yourself grow. And to me, that in itself is like a turn on. It's, um, it's, I don't I can't even find a word for it uh, like I said I'm modest so it's hard for me to describe these kind of things because I I'm more probably yeah I'm beat red probably because I'm talking about it but it it brings fantasy it brings that mental psychic part to the to the pick to the uh, equation uh, you with the rod it is what it is and you're always it's not going to change. It doesn't change. But that pump, although you have to take time to pump, the thing is with the pump is that you can you can take time with your partner and, and build that up just like a guy does with the pump. So I think honestly that 
as a person who's had both of them, I find myself more satisfied with the pump in all aspects. I don't worry if any of the kids bump up to me because it's just like bumping up to a guy. Uh, you get to watch yourself grow, which is a... Um, I, I, can, I, I think you can even use ego in that, you know? <laughs> just, just kind of think about it. Think about yourself and watching yourself get hard and bigger and longer and and yes your phallus stretches with it and um and then to share that with someone else and them get excited with you so i think for me it depends on what you want, what what you want to deal with. You want a, one that's always ready, one that if you're around children, you know, you worry about them running into you. That's, that's the only actually downfall of the rod. I mean, sure, I always felt like someone could see me because it was always hard and, you know, but my wife kept assuring me that I didn't look out of place. I didn't look like I walked around with a heart on. So, you know, she knows how modest I am. So I think she would have let me know. But for my activity and the way my body holds the weight and me having to get down on my stomach a lot of times with water lines and stuff, I have a peace of mind now. I don't worry about hitting that anchor and busting it away from my pelvic bone. I don't know. It's not anchored to my pelvic bone, so it's all wired and intertwined like that. And um, and it's it's a lot more uh, it's a lot more you can move it any which way you want. And you don't have to worry about it dislocating or you know, doing what it did to me. And I don't think anybody who who's getting the rod or the pump for the first time, if they don't watch this, they're not going to know those things. But this was my experience. And, and I'm just sharing with you the pros and cons. So the pros or the cons to the pump is that you're not always ready. You have to take the time to pump you up. Three to four pumps and then you're fully hard. Uh, I do make sure that it works once or twice a week uh, if I'm it's not in use. Uh, there are times where I try to pump it and it doesn't pump and it gets stuck and I have to maneuver and I've learned how to do that so you'll learn how to do that uh, but it does end up pumping. It has not failed me yet and it's been two years since November. I mean yeah two years November and that's I think going to be a record. Oh, I better knock on wood. <laughs> but anyway, um, and the and the pro is is the uh, the mental buildup with the physical, watching it get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and harder and harder, and staying where you want it and and being able to maneuver it in different ways than the rod was. So. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think that had I thought about this and knew exactly, I think I think what I would ask if if I was going for surgery the first time is how is the rod mounted? What happens if you know? Okay, let's just say let's be honest. What if you like rough sex? Ask the doc that. Uh, how can it come loose, stretch like it did me from the pelvic? A and then the pump. The pump can always fail. But all they have to do is replace the pump. I don't think they have to replace the whole thing. But uh, you, they take out one testicle. 
if you haven't had any, they put one, they put the pump in one and a testicle in the other. The pump is, um, it's, it's like this. Let me draw a picture here. So you squeeze on this. And then it feels like something like this. Now it may not look, oops, may not look just like this, but that's how it feels inside. And on the end here, on each end, you squeeze it to release all the silicone out of your phallus. Sometimes when you go to pump it, you can feel when the pump, the, the fluid is released into your phallus because it'll do this, like, it doesn't sound that way, but it'll just feel like a pfft. If it's hard and it won't move, what I've had to do is I either hit these again and try it, or I do the side of it, and I'll squeeze the side of it like that, kind of maybe like I'm releasing it, maybe it's stuck, and, and then I go like this, and then it'll release and you can pump into your phallus. But uh, that goes into a testicle, and then you have, or your scrotum for one testicle, and then you have a regular testicle on the other side. And then the, uh, now my phallus, I'll use this again. My phallus, unfortunately, when they put the rod in, they put the rod in and the tip went to the side. So my tip basically looks like this. And because the tip of my penis has no, has nothing to hold it, it moved to the side. So you could feel the little point of the rod and you could feel the little point of the phallus. Now, if I push my tip over, then it's like this. And the doctor, when she put the pump in, asked me to keep trying to move it over, but she said the scar tissue is already set. She doesn't think she can change that. So um, it didn't change no matter how much I moved it. But all you have to do is move the tip over and it's fine. But naturally you'll feel that little hardness there, but it's not so hard like the rod was that uh, the rod felt like it was gonna go through my skin. And the doctor said, no, you got a lot of skin there. So, um, yeah, that's the difference between the rod and the uh, pump that I've experienced. And again, uh, I would ask lots of questions. Write your questions down. The rod is anchored to your pelvic bone. There's nothing else holding it. So if that base gets loose, then you can basically do this with it. And that's mentally not fun at all. So that being said, if, if you guys don't have a weight issue, it might work fine for you. Uh, I'm sure it works fine for a lot of guys. And if you're a guy that has an active sexual life and want to be ready all the time, uh, and you like the spur of the moment, challenge there uh the rod is probably it for you because it will always be ready for you and you can maneuver the rod however you want and bend the rod i mean it does bend it's got joints just like it's got joints just like your finger it it looks just like your finger does so of course you're not going to see this you're not going to see the joints because of your skin and the girth but that's how it looks and it's got like five or six of them so uh just think about what you want. Uh, emotionally, you want to be rock hard at any given moment. The, the rod's it for you. If you don't like to be rock hard and you don't want to be bumped up against and made aware that, oh, I hope that person didn't think I was hard on for them or whatever. And you don't you like the build up. You like to take it slower. You you like you think you would like watching yourself grow as as maybe your your girlfriend or your wife is a woman handling you. Uh, that is something to think about because you get that from the pump uh, with the rod. You would not get that from that emotional buildup. So those are the differences. Those are those are what I know. That's what I've experienced. Uh, there might be other guys on here that 
maybe toot a different horn. But uh, I, I'm a modest guy, and that's probably as deep a detail I'm going to go into with you. But uh, I hope this helps. Uh, you guys take it one day at a time. Always make your journey as simple as possible. We'll talk to you later.